Hi everyone, I just want to share with you um, a design team project that I've made for Fernley Designs. Um, I will put a link to Fernley Designs Facebook page and their website below in the description box. Um, I used, well actually if you saw my last video, um, I used one of these jumbo tags. Um, I had three of these and they've just got like different tops. Um, so this one here is the scalloped edge on the top and they've all got holes punched in them um, this the size of this is hang on I'll show you the actual size of the tag I help if I the ruler around the right way is 10 inches by five and a quarter of an inch so that is a big jumble tag um, I used some book paper um, and stuck that down onto the tag and I just used some tacky glue to do that. I then went over it with some uh, white acrylic paint um, and then I done a little bit of stamping on top of that once it had dried. I used um, this stamp here, it's one of the Tim Holtz ones, rather messy but it still works um, and I just kind of went up the side here. I also used this script stamp, uh, it's a French script stamp, and just kind of done that um, going in a, a bit of a diagonal way down the tag. Um, I then used some Victorian velvet uh, distress ink um, and I just just splodged it on with the, um, actually I used a baby wipe, that's what I done. I'd, I splodged it down onto my craft mat um, and I just put the, the baby wipe on there and I just kind of smeared it across and it come out okay. I was quite pleased how that come out because I wasn't sure how it was going to come out. Um, then I went over it with some gold metallic paint. Now this was just a cheap metallic paint that I had. I think I got it in Wilkinson's in the children's section. Um, so I used that. I'm not sure if you can see it but there is a little bit of a shimmer going on with that. Um, the dress form here I used some chipboard, cut the dress form out, then I cut out a sheet of uh, book paper and attached that to the top of the chipboard. I went over it with some white acrylic paint and then went over it with the Victorian velvet again. Um, I just added th these little bits of trim that I had um, and some lace and some flat back beaded trim here, some raffia. Tied, um, I did actually put some ribbon around there and then I thought I'm going to tie some raffia around there and just leave it a little knot there. And I've added this I Am Rosie's flower here. The trim here is uh, some trim that I bought from the Big Fairy One, who is Lynn. Um, and this was actually one really large piece. It was I actually trimmed this off. I will show you the trim. Uh, Okay, the trim is actually like that. So what I done was I just trimmed along and took off the, the bit that I wanted for the tag, which was just this bottom bit. So I attached that using some hot glue. Um, I popped on these um, flat back pearls um, in the little spaces. Um, this little beaded spray here and some th three I am roses there. Um, this heart here is a um, MDF heart from Fernley Designs and I just popped on a um, heart, some heart blings that I had. Um, this was from the wedding section in the range. Um, I think you get like six or eight of them for like a pound. So that just popped on there nicely. These are just some small teeny teeny tiny wooden hearts again from Fernley Designs and this heart up here. The butterflies are from Martha Stewart Punch and the paper that I used was um, some Melissa Francis paper that I just had a little tiny bit of it um, in my scrap box so I just used that to punch out the flower, uh, not the flowers, the uh, butterflies. This piece um, up here is actually one of these, um, again this is from Fernley Designs. 
um, but these two pieces broke off so it was like these these two pieces here so they didn't go to waste um, I just used some acrylic paint on them and then I just put them together up here I just put a little bit of bling there um, this stamp collection is a Kaiser craft I believe um, and I just stamped the word dream live la live love and laugh um, and the live love and laugh is all together so I just stamped it and then cut it all up and I just stuck that down with some glossy accents and finally I just added some oops, let me move this a little bit I just added some seam binding I've got a ball going on here and you can hang it well I can hang it up if I wish to so that's my um, project with the tags I was dying to use one of these tags because um, they're just huge <laughs> um, I think the next one I'm going to do a clipboard on one of them because they are big enough to put little messages on and cute little things on there so like I said I'll put the links below to the Facebook page and the website if you want to go over and have a look and um, if you've got any questions just ask thanks for watching bye